So I've used the same method to integrate chickens into a chicken coop for many years. You'll need a large dog cage with a roost bar, a small dog cage, feed and water bowls, and a plastic tote. For the first two or three days, you want to take the chickens from the brooder and put them in the dog cage outside. That gets you used to moving them or gets them used to you moving them. And they'll eventually appreciate that and they look forward to it. I usually always have a small empty box that encourages them to jump up onto the box. And then they'll eventually move over to the roost bar once they realize they can jump around. When they're outside for the first few days, they're stretching their wings, they're trying to do little short flights, they're playing around, they really enjoy it. If one does one thing, they all do it right after the first one. The baby chickens are now, I don't know, five or six weeks old. Their required temperature is only 75 degrees. They start at 95 degrees when they're first born, and every week it goes down by five degrees. And once the temperature gets above what their required temperature is, you can start coop integration. Now, that takes about a week, so even though the overnight lows are like down into the high 60s and low 70s, um, they are fully feathered enough to where it won't matter. So what I do is I set up a large dog cage outside and you'll see videos of that. And what I do is I get them used to being moved from the brooder to the cage. That only takes about two days. Matter of fact, when I went to the brooder today, they were all standing there ready for me to pick them up and put them in the carry basket to take them out to the cage where the previous days they would kind of like fight like they thought you were going to hurt them but they actually wanted to go out to the cage today so around day three or four after doing two or three days of that then i actually move the cage into the chicken run you have to do that because if you don't your existing chickens will kill those baby chickens going into the side of the chicken coop you can see i've got the cage sitting here with the chickens the rooster is actually in the coop with the hen so they they have been in there ever since I put this cage in here it's like they don't know what's going on I kind of get it I'm putting this stick in here so they have like a roosting area they really like this a lot I might maybe stick it down one more But they love to have a place they can get up on and roost. So I always put a stick in there. They've got their food and water. The rooster and the hen are both in there. The hen is still being broody. But uh, these chickens are now at a size where they can be brought outside and left overnight you can kind of see they are fully feathered except for a little bit they still have a little bit of the fuzz feathers on their head but that's going away so it'll be okay to leave them out here so what i do is i've got a smaller dog cage like a small dog cage is actually in the coop i leave it in there year round and i do that so that the chickens that are in the coop don't get afraid of it and then i come out here in the evening and i take the chickens from here and I move them in there. I do that for about seven days. As long as there's no issues between the existing chickens and the rooster. After about seven days of doing this, you have them out here in the big cage during the day. You put them in the small cage at night. Basically walking down to the chicken coop to put the baby chickens up. I basically use a tote. I collect them from the dog cage that is in the run. Then I move them into a smaller cage that is already inside the coop. And then in the morning, I come out here and I get them out of the smaller cage that's in the coop and put them into the larger cage in the run. That's basically how I do it, but you can see they are adapting pretty well they are now using the little roof stick that's inside there Let me go ahead and get in here where it's easier to see there you go now you can see them up there 
they know that it's about time to go inside. Anyways, let me get this done. And hopefully that's easy enough to understand. There's the uh, tote that I use to put them in. I bring it inside here, open the lid up, only one side of it. And put them in there one at a time. They kind of know. They've done it so many times, they don't try to jump out or anything. Then I just go out this door all the way around to the coop entrance, which is up there on the other side of that wall. And I uh, stick them in another cage that is inside there. You can probably see right there. So on day eight, which is the second day with the door, the cage door open, you'll start to notice some things. Dominance is set, and now the rooster is actually trying to teach the chickens how to go into the chicken coop. What he does is he walks out of the chicken coop, and he gets their attention, and then he walks back inside. He does that over and over and over, probably about eight different times.
Well, I come out to let the chickens out this morning. And let me tell you, I did it a little bit different. But what I did was I left this door open yesterday for like the last two hours of daylight. And I'd let them out several times and kind of monitored them. But the last two hours I left the door out. And I actually waited for it to get dark. What I noticed was the rooster and the hens kept going like in and out of the chicken coop. Like it was trying to get the baby chicks to follow them up, but they wouldn't. So the baby chicks, I actually waited till it got dark. The baby chicks were laying over there on that post behind where the rooster is at over there. Kind of all balled up in a pile there. So what I done was I picked them up and I stuck them in the coop through the opening. And I stuck them in the cage, but I didn't lock the door. I just stuck them in the cage. And they apparently let themselves out this morning because they're already out. <laughs> and the roosters down here just kind of like keeping an eye on them. He goes in to check on the hens. He comes out here. So he's kind of like dual purpose in himself or something. But anyway, so I think I'm going to like let them out. I'm just going to leave this door open. And uh, see how today goes. This is actually the second day when I've let them actually mingle with the other uh, hens and rooster. So on day 10, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my fingers to peck on the ladder that goes up to the coop. That gets the baby chickens to jump up there. They start to walk up, but then they get scared and they change their minds. So I had to manually put them in. I just stick them in through that small door that they're going to go through to show them that's where they need to go. And uh, it takes a day or two of doing this, but they eventually get it. 